Hello, welcome from Greenville Christian School in Dallas, outside Dallas, Texas, and uh, we'd like to welcome you here today. Uh, I'm not sure for you guys what, it, what, what the weather is like here. We are in the dead of winter, and it is three degrees Celsius here today, so we are actually cold uh, for us. I'm not sure what the temperature is there for you. Uh, we'd like to welcome you. We're excited. We have a lot of kids, have a lot of questions. Um, so good things we're doing back and forth. And so I just want to welcome you and Bob, Bob Face and, and all that you guys have. Thank you for being here. And uh, we're excited. Let's get started. Okay. Morning, guys. We have a few kids who would like to come and ask me some questions. So Avery, Makaya, Caleb, and Hannah. We have come on up. They have some questions that they want to ask y'all about how you celebrate holidays. We just finished Christmas here, and so um, they want to ask you some questions about different holidays that you celebrate. All right, so we have another third grader. My name is Caleb, and I would like to ask you, how do you celebrate the Christmas holidays? He wants to know how you celebrate Christmas. So what did you all do for Christmas? My name is Agnes. We go for singing and and take seven minutes. Just cook at home and have fun with your family. Cook at home and spend time with their family. Caleb, you want to tell them what we do for Christmas? We celebrate the birth of Jesus and um, we get gifts to each other, and we wait for Santa to come. <laughs> okay, hi, I'm Hannah, and I'm in the 12th grade here at UCS, and we were just wondering if you guys have anything exciting happening at your school. Hi, my name is Zebra. I went to the English school, and I went to the day of three people like turn them to nice. Oh, April Fool's Day? This is the full day. The first day, that's yeah. April. Yes. And she laughs that day. Many people get full up around and die. Many of these people have it. She says that, but it's not true. It doesn't say <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, something I personally am looking forward to is graduating in a couple of months. <laughs> so one of the things that we have been working on and something that we're going to be sending to y'all is an activity based on a book. And so our fourth graders are going to tell you about this book that they like and try to explain an activity that we would like to do with you. Okay? Okay, so you have the same beside it. One of our favorite books to read is Flat Stand. One of our favorite books to read is Flat Stand. Okay, can we read the same thing as it? One of our favorite books to read is Flat Stand. Flat Stanley is a little boy who lives in New York City with his brother and his parents. So they ask him a question and one of them is giving a book. They're they're explaining a book to you. They're telling you a little story about a book that they like to read. Okay. Good. But once, Stanley was sleeping and got flattened by a bulletin board. <laughs> when Stanley's brother wakes up, he sees that Stanley has been flattened by the bulletin board. As crazy as that may sound, <coughs> understandably, Stanley and his family are concerned that he is not completely flat. However, Stanley soon discovers that there are benefits to being flat. 
Like family can slam the doors. Family can fly like a kite. Family can help solve crimes by hiding on the wall. Family can help solve crimes by hiding on the wall. And most importantly, Stanley can be folded up and set in the mail They're all around the world. Since we can all become flat and fit Yeah, I know it because the sound will never be very clear. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Since we can all become flat and fit and we'll squeeze up to Kenya. Each of our, each of our class, class, each class of Rainbow Christian School has created a classroom that is flat. <laughs> so they have created these flat characters for y'all. Mm -hmm. Just like flat Stanley, our flat classmates want to see what it's like, or our flat classmates want to go on adventures with me to find out what it's like to live in Kenya. We want you to take our flat characters on a tour of your school. We want our flat classmates to see your rooms and what you do each morning. Our flat characters also want to know what you do fun. We also want your classmates to create a flat. We also want your classes to create a flat classmate that can come visit with us in Texas. Until we can all visit together in person. This will be a fun way for us to remember each other and learn more about our partner schools. So we <laughs> so they have all they have all created these flat characters that we're going to be sending to y'all in Eldoret, and we want them to visit with you, and then we want you to create some flat characters that can come back and visit with us in Texas as well. I'm a 
to be from me. It only wants to say something. I'm fighting, I can't do this on my own. I don't know where to go from me. I feel that I know that you are me. And I'm fighting, I'm fighting, let it go. I don't trust in you. Never prayed before. I don't trust in you. If there's a road I should walk, it'd be fine. If I need to be still, give me peace for the moment. Whatever you will, whatever you will, can let me find it. Can let me find it. I lift my eyes on you. I lift my eyes on you. If there's a road I should walk, it'd be fine. If I need to be still, give me peace for that moment. Whatever your will, whatever your will, can help me find it. Can help me find it. Sing my 
Welcome to Juice 34 on Juice Cable Internet. I'm your host, Christopher Manguel. We're here with Michael with 2827. Good job, Chris. Thanks. Yes, sir. And uh, <laughs> we're here at the Greenville Christian School. And uh, right. tell us about the event that we had going on this morning. Yeah, this morning we actually did a Google Hangout call between Greenville Christian School and Comito School in Eldoret. And so uh, I'm from an organization called 2827, and our partner school in Kenya is Comito School. And so these two schools have partnered up uh, to begin new relationships where there's actually going to be some student exchange going on uh, on different trips. That's great. So tell us about how the reaction of the students when they first seen the kids yeah. from Kenya on screen. Yeah, it was interesting. I, I, I did. I kind of kept an eye on the kids, and some of them, you know, just, I just light up. They're like, oh, I'm looking at somebody halfway around the world right now. There they are, you know, and a, a time of FaceTime, that, that kind of, you know, we get used to that. But right. to actually see it across the world was pretty awesome. So tell us about some of the language barriers and mm -hmm. making that connection from uh, from the students here at Greenville Christian and the students at Kenya. Yeah, great question. Um, in Kenya, they still speak the King's English, you know, and so the, the you know, we say aluminum, they say aluminium, you know. And uh, so one of the things is we try and speak the English as best we can back and forth together. Five mm -hmm. years in, we're still learning each other's English. It's pretty interesting. Uh, but these are students who actually know English, Swahili, their national language, and then a tribal language of their own, right. uh, where they come from. Oh, that's awesome. So why is it important to support organizations like 2827? You know, we're out there trying to do the long haul. We're not in to show up, throw a bunch of money down, build something, walk away. We're mm -hmm. actually here to do relationships with these kids. And one of the things they talked about this morning uh, are the students that are going to test out for uh, what they call grade eight there, which is actually a test into high school. Right. So these kids, if they don't have an education... That cycle of poverty keeps going on and on. And so we're there to break it. And we have the resources here. We've got the personnel. We've got the people. We've got, we've got all the resources that we really need to go help, help interrupt that, that cycle of poverty. That's awesome. So how can people get involved and help out this organization as well? Well, there's two ways. One is directly here at Greenville Christian School. These mm -hmm. students actually are going to be going with us in July awesome. to go on the trip. So helping fund that or funding a student scholarship there. Uh, they're $32 a month, and it covers two meals a day clean sanitation, a great education, mm -hmm. uh, and fantastic nutrition. That's awesome, Michael. I appreciate your time. Thank you for joining you us on Juice 34. I appreciate Excellent. it. Thanks. <laughs> 